Okay, go ahead and have a seat. Good morning. We've got a uh, special guest speaker that I'd like to introduce you to. Some of you know uh, Teresa Zacher. Uh, if you've gone on the Polish mission trip before, then she was one of the uh, people on the other end that helped to set up the trip for us. And so she's just passing through town and would like to uh, greet you in the name of the Lord. And we'd like to uh, bless her uh, with prayer at the end of her um, talk with us today. Uh, Teresa is with Greater Europe Mission, and she's been in Poland for the last nine years. And you speak some Polish? Yes, she speaks some Polish. And um, uh, so it's, it's been really fun and interesting to get to know her. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Teresa. So uh, let's give her a big uh, Trinity welcome. It's fun. I do speak some Polish, but I was wondering if I could speak some Texan. So this morning I was practicing in the mirror. Let's see. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Howdy. All right. Seriously, it's really good to be here. Um, we have had your teams come to our nation for quite a few years, and I was trying to remember this morning, and it's five. And that has been a huge blessing to us. And I kind of got a little bit teary-eyed just thinking about all the lives that you guys are touching through the time that you spend ministering in communities here locally and those far away. And uh, as I was driving through the countryside, this word is so weird to me, the word gaggle, but I saw a gaggle of geese. And I was looking at it, and I was thinking about how geese fly down here. Have you ever seen them fly down here? Yeah. They fly in like all these squiggly formations, right? Like a V? Yeah, and the lead guy is up there working hard, right? And he's starting to get tired. And what do the other geese do? <coughs> right? And they encourage it. And they say, keep going. You're doing a great job. And then all of a sudden, he's like, I just can't do it anymore. And what happens? Yeah, this V changes position and shape. And, you know, there's people that you guys are going out to serve. They're like the lead goose of a gaggle. And their gaggle might be one or it might be three, or it might feel like it's just a half. But when you guys go out to serve them, you are those geese. And I know your honking might sound a little bit different than the geese, right? But your presence, your beauty, your heart, the way that you begin to picture what the potential is of those people that you're, in, that you're interacting with is like those geese honking to the person that's in front and their wings are getting tired. And you guys do the same thing for all the different communities where you serve. You know, I don't know how many lives you guys touch, but you touch a lot. And I know the lives that you touch in Poland. Of course, after the team leaves, we all, like, just crash for a little while because <laughs> we're tired. But then we are so encouraged. During that time, when we have the teams come, we're praying together. We're dreaming together of what Poland can be. But also afterwards, we're continuing to see the fruit of what those students did by interacting with other people who have thought they knew what it was to go to church when they also they found out they all also found out the truth of what it is to really be a follower of Jesus. And so the scripture that I wanted to grab for today is um Philemon Actually, I don't even know how to pronounce things in English anymore. I always pronounce them in Polish, so I don't even know how to pronounce that correctly anymore. In Polish, it'd be Philemon. But I have received considerable joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. And that's what you guys have done, done for us there in Poland. And what are some of the things that have happened? We've have made some more contacts. We've had some great contacts with some of the students, but we've really had some great contacts with teachers who have requested those teams to come back again. We had one school, <laughs> they, it was hard to get into the school, and my coworker Lisa Mitz, she's a crazy lady. Those of you from, that have come to Poland, you know her and you've gotten to see just what a great gal she is. And she was able to talk to them and say, you really want to have this team come into the school to you and to speak to you. And they said, oh, okay. Well, after the team came in and just rocked the student's world with the gospel, with how do you live being a, how, do you, how are you a Christian? in a non-Christian world, they presented their testimonies and they talked about changed lives and their students' eyes were open and they were like, wow, wow, it's real. It's not just something we just do a checklist for, for each part of our journey. And so along the way, um, 
these, par- these, these teachers said, we want you back. And we'll even put you guys up in, like, one of our housing, like, places or something like that. So they were really, really amazed by the impact that these students, these young people, these youth, young adults could come back and really engage with their students. We've had some fun parties <laughs> with the team there. But those parties have led to many, many deeper conversations about faith and about walking with the Lord. And um, so you guys tackle those projects you guys get to do every year during this time. Um, they're a blessing. They're, they're huge projects sometimes. And maybe you're like dragging your feet, like going. But you know, don't drag your feet. Put your wings out. Get your voice ready so you can honk at the leaders and the people that you're going to serve and remind them that you're there to bring encouragement. You're there to help them fly longer. And you're there maybe, maybe not to take their place, but you're there to encourage the next people who are going to go in and begin to lead and to guide. And so I just want to keep it short today, um, but I'm really just glad to get to be here and to see the place that has sent out teams that have blessed us so greatly. And I know that you're blessing other places as well. So thanks. If you've been to Poland or uh, if you are going to Europe, um, would you come up and come around, um, Teresa, and let's pray for her and for her uh, ministry in Poland. And we're going to ask ZT to pray for her there. Dearly Father God, we... uh Thank you for the wonderful woman Teresa is, God. I thank you for the heart for you that she has, God. I, I thank you for the countless lives that she's touched in uh, Poland, God, uh, and beyond, God. I pray that you'll continue to use her, God, that you just continue to bless her, that you just show her your plan, God, and uh, what you have next for her, God. I pray that she will continue to walk in your steps, God, and that she will always uh, seek your heart, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So a honk for Jesus, I guess, could be our uh, logo now. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> It's Friday, everybody. Be excited. Let's do this with us. Oh 
Father God, we we just ask that in this moment of worship, Father, that your presence would overwhelm us in this place. Father, that you would fill us up. Sing this. You provide Jesus pray in righteousness. I turn my stress the sweetest flame. The holy trust in Jesus. Come on, 
that I miss I miss your name In this place, God, it's for you, Lord Give you praise, you are real You are home in your presence We stand amazed And it's your name In this place, God, it's for you, Lord you in the place that you deserve, the Lord of all, because you're worthy, you're worthy of that, God, and we love you so much, and we thank you that you allow us to come together and worship you, and like this, God, we just ask that you bless our day, and listen to your sons, and we pray.